if you're like me and you are a raw comic book collector, then you have some hesitancies about sending your books in to be graded from CGC, CBCS, PGX, whomever. You just don't want other people handling your books. Believe me, I get it. Well, today I'm going to give you my alternative to slabbing comics as a raw collector. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? I am the Dude Without Fear. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Uh, I've wanted to make this video for a very, very long time. Uh, I, as you, if you are a subscriber to the channel, if you follow me, you know that I prefer raw comic books. I'm not much of a graded comic book collector. I have nothing against graded comics other than the fact that you can't take the comic out and read it if you wanted to. Which, yeah, I understand that can affect the point of the grade, but to a raw collector, there's just something about having your book raw. You can read it if you want to. You don't have to crack open a slab. You know, raw people are just a different breed than slab collectors. Now, I only have one slab comic in the personal collection and if you're a subscriber you recognize this book uh, this is Immortal Hulk number one and a 9.8 from CGC from my first and only submission at this point to CGC uh, this was a 9.8 I actually bought this off of the stands at a books a million uh, and it came back a 9.8 I think I, I did get it pressed before I sent it um, but this is the only slab I have and I have a lot of other books that are way more valuable than this book I only got it slabbed for the cover because I love the cover so much I actually hate Immortal Hulk the series terrible but anyway we're not here about that uh, but I have a bunch more books that are way more valuable than this book that I don't have slabbed and the main reason for that is that I have seen so many horror stories about people sending in books to both CGC and CBCS and their books getting destroyed, their books getting damaged. It's just I as I don't like people handling my books other than me and to send it off to somebody that I don't know that's been hired to fill this crazy rush that they've had you know this crazy backlog of having books graded that just as a collector makes me nervous and that is one reason that I prefer to keep my books raw now I do like the look of a slabbed book and I have an alternative for you raw collectors out there and it is Ultra Pro's one touch comic holders okay uh, this is a three pack of them these things are amazing I love them so much let me show you so here's my copy of Blue Beetle number one uh, it is in one of these this is a uh, Silver Age book but it is in one of these current size comic holders. So the current size uh, fits up to a Silver Age book. It'll probably even fit up to a Golden Age book because you can see there's still some room in there for some play, but it may not fit a Golden Age book in a bag. So, uh, but definitely would fit up to a Silver Age book. Uh, what it will not fit is like, I have a Detective Comics 1000, uh, the Alex Ross exclusive and that's a big thick comic those thick books like uh it's probably like a hundred pager those will not fit in these because they will not close but your standard size comic even your prestige format comics will probably fit in one of these holders so what is cool about them well what's cool about them is they connect with these magnets here so all you gotta do is 
boop, pop it open. There's your book. Just take it out and voila. Now I just did a review about these Comic Clear, uh, clear backing boards. You can get some of those, put your raw book in a Mylar bag, put them in one of these one touch, just close it up and boom, you can display it right next to your slabbed books. And boom, you paid a lot less money and it's not trapped in here. You don't have to break this apart. No, it's not. It doesn't have a certified grade on it. But if you're a raw collector, that's not super important to you. So in comparison to these, this is way heavier than this. This fills, these Ultra Pro One Touches feel very durable, very sturdy. This feels durable and sturdy, but I feel like if I drop this, good chance it's going to crack. I feel like if I drop this, it might break what it lands on. <laughs> this thing's probably it, not, I don't know if it would crack or not. This feels very durable. Uh, this is heavier than a slab. It's thicker than a slab. The slab's a little taller. I don't know if you can see there or not. Slab's a little bit taller. Uh, these also, this is like probably the only thing I don't really like about it is I wish it didn't have this like hole in this. It's got a hook clip in the back. So if you want, you can hang this on your wall. And so that's cool that you can hang it on the wall. I just kind of don't like how that looks. That's about the only negative that I have to say about this uh, one touch comic holder it's UV protected unlike CGC cases which is dumb because if you display these then it's not going to be protected from ultraviolet light and this will be and that's super awesome uh, and maybe you don't really want to protect a comic like a slab maybe you just want to display a comic like a on the wall that's this would be great for that. You, you hang it up on the wall, you put your comic in there, you can interchange the comic frequently. Uh, they open up, I'm, I don't want my comic to fall out, but they open up super easily. Just magnetic seal, and it's not loose, because I could shake it and it doesn't come open or anything like that. I cannot say enough good things about these Ultra Pro One Touch comic holders. Uh, I actually just bought this three pack over the weekend because they had uh, a big sale and these are normally at my local comic book store those would run me about twenty dollars a pop okay uh, i got all three of these for twenty one dollars that's awesome uh, that's why i bought them because that's a great deal i was just on there buying bags for my store and i saw those and i was like i have to take advantage of that deal but i plan on buying very many more of these one touches i think they're just called one touches but i love them so much i highly recommend them uh, i've got a link down in the description below uh, at this point in filming i am not yet an affiliate with uh, ultra pro for these but i did apply to become an affiliate with them because i love this so much and i recommend this for you raw collectors out there for you people that want to send in your books or but you're just afraid that you know they're going to get damaged or anything like that these are for you there are books that i would love to have graded but i just don't feel comfortable sending them in and i do feel comfortable putting them in a mylar bag putting them in one of these and displaying them and just keeping them safe so that's my review of ultra pro one touch i got a link down in the description below uh, straight to ultra pro's website where you can buy these for yourself give them a try i believe that you will love them as much as i do so that's all for me 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this information informative or helpful, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, be excellent to each other and take it easy.